small caps could be on cruise control today. I'm Angela Miles with the Russell Report. The Russell is back above its 50-day and 200-day simple moving averages. The Russell this week traded above 2,300 and is at no real risk until around 2,409. Options traders seem to be going along for that ride. For the past couple of trading days now, traders have been buying and selling an equal number of puts and calls with a ratio of one call trading for every one put. Volume on the call side and calls can be bullish has been heavier than normal and that's been picking up while put volume has stayed steady, puts tend to be bearish. Typically in the Russell, more puts trade than calls. The 90 day average is one call trading for every one and a half puts. But as mentioned lately, it's been one for one. The call open interest is above average at 2009 as traders seem to be accumulating calls. Among the calls trading this week, the 2,450 and 2,460 calls, traders are paying $3.27 for the 2,450 call contracts. Implied volatility is low, so that price is considered inexpensive. On the put side, the 2,270 puts expiring next Friday are going for $6.59. Implied volatility remains on the lower end of the range for the week, right around that 20-ish area. And barring any major events or catastrophes, market movers are projecting a move up or down on the Russell today of just about 7 tenths of percent off the 2,290 line. Could be a calm trading day. The straddle for next Friday projects a move of 1.9% up or down. Now, volatility is coming in, and the Russell seems to be compressing with its moves, checking the mini Russell options, a bullish tone there. Traders, they're active with about two and a half calls trading for every one put. The October 230 calls expiring today are active, along with the 228 puts could be a quiet ride to the upside. I'm Angela Miles and I will see you here next week.